The middle trapezius is a key muscle in the stability and mobility of the shoulder. Its main function is scapular retraction, that is bringing the scapula closer to the spine which is essential for maintaining a healthy posture and preventing overload on other muscles. However, many patients exhibit weakness in the middle trapezius which can lead to shoulder and neck pain due to muscle compensations, overload in the upper trapezius causing discomfort and fatigue, and poor scapular stability affecting shoulder biomechanics. Increased risk of injuries, especially in people who engage in throwing sports or weightlifting. If you want to ensure effective rehabilitation and strengthening of the middle trapezius, Endurance's Electromedicine will help you measure and optimize muscle activation in each exercise. You can find all the information in the link I leave in the video description. In this post, you will discover 5 exercises to strengthen the middle trapezius. A very common issue is also how to know if we are truly strengthening the middle trapezius and not compensating with other muscles. For example, many times other muscles such as the upper trapezius, the posterior deltoid and the rhomboids can take over the work, overshadowing the middle trapezius. And the worst part is that visually it is very difficult to detect it. Use surface electromyography. With this tool, you can measure in real time which muscles are working in each exercise and ensure that the middle trapezius is optimally activated. Let's get to it. Here are five effective exercises to strengthen the middle trapezius and their activation levels measured with electromyography. First exercise, row with 90 degrees of shoulder abduction and 90 degrees of elbow flexion. Take a look at the activation results. The middle trapezius has an average activation of 40% compared to its maximum voluntary contraction. This exercise is a good starting point to activate the middle trapezius, but its activation level is moderate. It is performed with the arm in a 90 degree abduction and elbow flexion position, which favors the work of the muscles. Scapula. A tip, keep the scapula retracted throughout the movement to maximize the activation of the middle trapezius. Second exercise, a row with 0 degrees of shoulder abduction and 90 degrees of elbow flexion. In this case, the activation of the middle trapezius increases to 44% activation. Here, the shoulder position is modified, allowing for greater involvement of the middle trapezius in scapular retraction. Tip. Control the horizontal direction of the movement to prevent the upper trapezius from taking on too much work. Third exercise, external rotation without shoulder abduction. Notice how, in this case, the activation of the middle trapezius increases by 48%. This exercise not only benefits the middle trapezius, but also improves shoulder stability and the work of the rotator cuff. Tip. Keep the elbow close to the body and focus on activating the middle trapezius in the final phase of the movement. Fourth exercise row with 45 degrees of abduction and 90 degrees of elbow flexion. In this case, the activation of the middle trapezius increases by 55%. With an intermediate abduction angle about 45 degrees, the activation of the middle trapezius increases significantly. The tip for this exercise, make sure to properly retract the scapula before flexing the elbow to maximize the work of the middle trapezius. And we move on to the fifth exercise, shoulder extension without elbow flexion. Here, the activation of the trapezius is the highest of all, with a 60% average activation. This is the most effective exercise to activate the middle trapezius. By performing a shoulder extension with the arms extended, excessive involvement of other muscles is eliminated and the work of the middle trapezius is maximized. Tip. Perform the movement slowly and in a controlled manner to avoid muscle compensations. Therefore, surface electromedicine is a very useful tool to ensure Proper activation of the middle trapezius, avoid overtraining of compensatory muscles, correct inefficient patterns, optimize exercise technique, and motivate your patients with real-time biofeedback. This improves their commitment and progression. See you in the next post.